Black Ops 6 is finally here and so is our road to Nebula. So just to catch you up to speed, just in case you don't know, in this game to get all your base camos done, you need to get 2,000 critical kills and that's it. Every single one of these camos right here is all just critical kills. So let's go get them. So obviously today is the first time that you can play Black Ops 6 uh, at least a little bit early here with our yearly trip over to New Zealand. And I've been playing for a good portion of today and I've been having a blast. I streamed this for nine hours and it didn't really even feel like two. And in that time, I've been trying to learn like the new mechanics, all the new upgrade things you can do with the augments. And it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun. There has been some things that uh, I think are kind of slow, like the leveling seems a bit slow. And it seems kind of difficult to get the 2,500 crits, which is the only camo challenge you need. It's very difficult to get that in just one game. I haven't gotten a single gun gold yet, but I got like, a lot of progress on a bunch of different weapons. And as you can see right here, I'm starting off with a sniper. Uh, this is called the Frost Line, I'm pretty sure. I, I don't know what it is, but for the life of me, I cannot remember the name of this sniper. But there's something really nice about this once we get a pack a punch. I've seen my share of secret Oh, lab. and I forgot that pack is back. I cannot believe he's here. I mean, I obviously he's here, but it's just been so long since cold war like the cold war's life cycle that i thought getting to this day would like never happen it, it seems so far away but it, i have just been having so much fun with this and for this map on terminus here the power actually works a lot like how it did on firebase c so it's been actually pretty nostalgic to play on but these things here for power not as durable as the power on firebase c it can just take one zombie to take it out and we gotta pull out our knife here because i don't think i can snipe fast enough to help no stop leave it alone no okay well we're off to a great start this process literally takes a minute is focusing that long really too much for you yes it is actually peck i have adhd you know what that is peck you think there's a perk for that there is actually that doesn't matter you just don't have to be rude about it dick well, let's go ahead and try that again also strauss is looking so rough Dude kind of looks like a dinosaur. I'm not just saying that because he's old. His hairstyle is is just dinosaur to me. That's what it screams. Oh, and we got it done. Finally. And hold on, check this out. Gotta hit a nice dunk. Oh, shit. Eh, I'll, I'll call it a layup. We'll take that. And I know what you're probably thinking, Joe. What are you doing starting with a sniper? Are you just trying to get it out of the way to get the camos done first? Because if you did the Cold War camo grind, the snipers were the absolute worst part about it. They were very, very slow to get done because of the 2,500 crits that you had to do. And like I mentioned before, crits are the only thing to do in this game for all the base camos. But snipers have been buffed dramatically in this game for just even one feature here. Uh, if you'll remember back in Cold War, you can only call at three zombies. So even if you had the entire round's worth of zombies lined up, the bullet would only go three zombies deep. But here in this game, you can do a little bit more than that. Come on, zombies, why don't we uh, round up right here? get you guys all on a single file line and let's send a shot down their way okay that that's a bad example right here there's four five six what about there going to eight let's keep it moving not looking bad that was 11 right there just in what three four shots and that's without pack a punch that's without any weapon upgrades you can clap way more zombies than three now making getting all these critical kills just significantly easier on top of that look at this we got double points going right now when you throw a decoy grenade, you now get points for distracting zombies. Before in Cold War, you could get points for just, you know, throwing a stun and stunning zombies. Now decoys got way more benefit to them. On top of them probably just being one of the better tacticals that you can spawn in with. Uh, sorry if I'm just like bombarding you with information right now, but I'm trying to get out everything that I know so far that's going to make the camel grind a little bit easier. And as for gobble gums, I don't have a whole lot. I, I haven't really been able to exfold too much because uh it's been it's been kind of tough i'm not gonna lie they tweeted yesterday that after round 25 the game gets significantly harder and they did not lie about that and we're getting a little late in rounds here i need to go get this power on now <laughs> another thing real quick uh, you guys might have heard that there's an arachnophobia mode that you can turn on and off here this is what the spiders are supposed to be but they just literally remove their legs and it's just a little floating spermy that walks around. I think it looks hilarious, so I've kept it on. Also, we did grab a, a nice little gobble gum earlier, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop that. Not gonna really help us out too much, but it makes the zombies fart when they die. And I'm mentally six years old, so that's gonna be hilarious. But now we have power all the way on, so we can go ahead and start up this lift and pack a punch our sniper here. But first of all, check this out. The, the pack a punch camo here on this map is just beautiful. It looks so 
Nice. And the nice little feature you get when you pack a punch this thing. Look how fast the ADS is. I have no speed cola, no perks, no nothing. The ADS on this thing goes insanely fast. And the fire rate picks up an insane amount. They actually made snipers somewhat viable in this game. And that's been one of my favorite weapons to use so far. And this is another reason why getting the sniper camos is going to be so much easier now. It just increases the speed of everything by so much. And I'm just throwing information at you again. But look at this. You can grab an insta-kill where previously it wouldn't let you progress your field upgrade when you had an insta-kill active. Now you can, which is sick. I used to always avoid insta-kills, especially during high rounds because your field upgrade is so important to actually surviving. Now you can just grab insta-kills willy-nilly with basically no consequence. It's actually working how, you know, insta-kill would feel back in like BO1 or some of the older COD games. Oh, and look at this. We got our nice little trial machine here. And honestly, I like these a lot. This is a huge upgrade over Cold War's trial machine because whatever like challenge you get for your trial, it's always going to be nearby wherever the trial machine's at. You never have to go in to like a whole other part of the map to try to get things done. And you actually can get some pretty good rewards because you can always get it all the way up to legendary in just the one trial. You don't have to complete multiple. You don't have to spend a bunch of money just to go get like a legendary reward that's going to end up being like tombstone or whatever. But for here, for this challenge, we just got to get kills while we're on the lift and it's moving. And for this, it went ahead and made the lift free and reduced the cooldown time by a lot. There's a bunch of these challenges. Some will give you like kill streaks and it'll be like, get kills with this. Or it'll give you like a temporary perk and it'll be like, get kills with PhD flopper. And we already got it done. It was literally just within not even a minute. But I don't know if you heard over my yapping there. It, the name for the trial bot is SAM, which obviously Sam. And it, its voice is very similar to Samantha Maxis. And I'm thinking that uh, it's probably just like an AI version of her voice, like made here at Project Janus. But I also had the theory since she's trapped in the, the Pokeball in the Forsaken, like what happened at the end of the Forsaken Easter egg, that maybe it could be her, but uh, that seems less likely. The one thing I don't like about it though, is that it gives you a chest like in Cold War or Modern Warfare Zombies. And you actually have to open it and singly like grab each weapon out or all your rewards out individually. I think it might be just because everyone's going to get like individual rewards for completing the trial. And that's the only way they can really split it up while also moving the trial machine around, which I, I guess I understand. But they removed a lot of menus everywhere else in this game, like pack a punch. If you notice when we grab that. You know, no menu there like there was in Cold War. And we haven't grabbed it yet, but armor is a wall buy, as you can see right here. So all that has been good changes. I just, that's the one thing I would change about the trial machine. I don't like that it does that now. And I know for those of you camo grinders out there, you know, everybody grinding camos in Cold War zombies basically use Ring of Fire. That was like the main one to go for. And I've really been trying to emulate Ring of Fire. Maybe I should emulate staying alive. But the way I'm trying to emulate Ring of Fire is with Frenzy Guard here. I am almost all the way at the final augment for it that allows you to shoot from your stock while Ring of Fire or Frenzy Guard is active. So I still got Ring of Fire on my mind. And the funny thing about it is that the augment for it is called Frenzied Fire. So it's kind of paying homage to Ring of Fire. And I think there's some other augments that I might be able to combine with it to make it even more similar to Ring of Fire. And maybe we can find something to... Uh, emulate the damage that Ring of Fire gave you as well as shooting from the stock. And I think we actually might unlock it this game if I can get enough kills with Frenzy Guard active. And since we did go down there, uh, the only way we can get back up is with a self-revive since we're playing solo. And they limited self-revives to a maximum of three a game. Now, I don't know if that means you can only craft three or you can only have three a game. I'm not entirely sure, but it is 1,500 scrap to craft them. And I don't know if the price goes up. I haven't paid that much attention to it. And I haven't been able to purchase three of them because I'd either die before I could get another one back or just X-filled. So we're going to have to find out the hard way one of these days. But since this is the very start of our grind to Nebula here, I want to kind of do it like we did back in Cold War and have you guys pick what weapon we do next. So... Go ahead and leave a comment down below of what weapon you want to see us do map do next, as well as what map you want us to play. I got a little ahead of myself there. And whatever the top comment is, is the weapon that we will do. And if you have any like augment combos that you might want to see, go ahead and leave them there as well. I, I really want to try out and see what kind of augments we can get. But you guys will see once you start playing that... It ain't the easiest to level up augments. It takes a long time. So eventually, the further we get into this game, I'll have like a lot more uh, augments fully leveled up and be able to try out a bunch of different combinations. But for now, I'm going to try to focus on what I think might be the best 
for the camo grind. So I really want to try to find the most efficient way to get it done. Oh no. Well, not very efficient when you're dead. But I do love that the game does have like these death animations, like these these final cutscenes of getting out of the game. But that sucked. That, that was bad. Actually, maybe that was good. Did I finish the research on this augment? No, it's so close, dude. We're right there. Also, this is the build I have on my frost line for right now. Uh, obviously, it's not fully leveled up. You don't need levels for camos in this game, but I'm going for more of a, uh, you know, FMJ kind of uh, bullet penetration, getting more collats build. All right, I'm not quite done with Terminus. We got to run it back. What's up, you piece of shit? Behind the glass again, like a coward. I don't know why I'm still playing as Maya. I think she's friends with Peck. I, that needs to change. I need to change my operator. No disrespect, Maya, but you got some bad friends. But the way that I've been really grinding camos here on the sniper is in the spot that I was showing you guys before. I think this is probably the best way to get a bunch of crits in a row. Uh, I haven't really found any locations or anything yet that are really good for just like sitting there and grinding camos like we did in Cold War. I think we're gonna have to do a lot more training in this game until like you get a lot of augments unlocked and there's gonna be like a better method for sitting and camping. But I'll basically just train up all the zombies, bring them up these stairs like so. And also this is the map right here. This is where I'm at. Uh, it's kind of crazy to even pull up a map in zombies, but this is the area where I'm at. And then once they're in a single file line like this, you know, let them have it, light them up. And of course, if you're doing this basically with any weapon, Deadshot is gonna help out, especially if you're on controller with the way it just auto locks the heads. But I'm just really training around in this area. This is like the best spot on Terminus that I've found so far. But there might be a better spot on Liberty Falls once we uh, head on over there. Come on, is this gonna push us over the limit to finish our research? Please? Come on. I don't think it did. Maybe one more though. One more should do it. But speaking of one more, let's uh, get one more pack punch level. Get pack two. I wonder if I could ride this off on my taxes. Who am I kidding? I don't pack taxes. Yeah, Maya. Don't say that. The IRS is listening. We'll take a peek at this pack of bunch camo. This is the pack two camo. I think it looks really, really nice. It's almost like a magma camo. All right, now we got a huge group of zombies here. There's no way after this frenzy guard is up that we won't have our research done. It's got to be right here. Has to be. No other way around it. Ooh, we're all getting torched. There we go. Sniper rifle mastery. Wait, is that the wrong thing? I saw the wrong mastery. All right, whatever. Oh shit, it's an amalgamation or amalgam, whatever. I said it's full government, but these things are a pain in the ass to take out unless you can really hit those headshots. I find it almost easier to get it done with a sniper. I say as I'm whiffing everything, give me this armor. Ah, I'm too broke. I'm panicking the hell out of my way but without it it seems like they stay alive for so long they're definitely the most threatening thing on this map but i think we just killed it nope we just paused for a second now he's dead let's go can we afford tier three armor now it's so weird that we have to buy armor with points now but honestly it's a bit better with it being a wall buy oh not going the greatest though god damn it let's buy a self-revive back there we go. And we just lost the perk that we just purchased. And I mentioned a little bit earlier how leveling seems to be very slow in this game. I think it's pretty similar to how Cold War was, where like the very early levels, not only like your player level, but your weapon levels, they go by fast. But the later and later you get into it, the slower and slower the leveling goes because you're just gonna need way more xp per level the higher you get because i streamed like i mentioned before it was like nine and a half hours and i'm not even like max level i'm level 41 right now and on top of that my weapon isn't even fully leveled up and the sniper i think i've used probably the most out of all the weapons in this game so far but you might have seen a few levels popping up here and there in the video and that's because i was lucky enough to have such a, a nice person go ahead and dm me a bunch of double XP codes. They literally gave me 80 codes, which I am so thankful for. And that person has done left. I, I really do appreciate you, man. You didn't really have to do all that, but I it truly means a lot. You're, you're going to save me a whole lot of time. So thanks for sharing those with me. I, I really do appreciate it. Shout out done left. And we finally got enough to go ahead and get this to pack a punch three. So let's grab that. Can I get out of here? Ooh, Barely stuck out before the lift left. But good thing we did, because now we can head on over here and get this to legendary. Uh-oh. We're in the last of the baby rounds. Then the real game begins. All right, round 25. You got to be nice to me, all right? I'm just a boy. And I don't know exactly what they did to buff the difficulty on round 25, but it is insane. It's almost like a rampage inducer turning on. And there is a rampage inducer in this game that I have not even touched yet. 
because I have been struggling already without it. But since it is round 25, that means the Wonder Fizz has finally spawned. So uh, let's go over to it. But first, let's use this Frenzy Guard really quick. Try to take these things out. No! Bad. Not supposed to do that. Not allowed. It's a very bad amalgamation. And let's clear out the rest of these guys. Bad. Bad little spermy. Both of ya. Into the ground. But now we just gotta head back here. And there's our boy. How I've missed you. Let's get basically everything. Oh yeah, there's melee macchiato. Not gonna lie, tried it a little bit. Not the greatest. You're kind of putting yourself in a bad situation trying to melee in this game. But maybe with augments it could be better, but as it stands just like default, I uh, probably wouldn't use it a whole lot. It's very risky. And I'm also not grabbing elemental pop because I still need to get critical kills and I don't need it uh, using whatever dark void or whatever it's called. Whatever the new ammo mod is that just create little cashmere portals to teleport my zombies around. I don't need that. All right, can you guys chill on the scary music? I don't like it. Thank you. So far, so good on making it past the baby rounds. We're doing pretty all right on round 28. Like this is honestly my favorite weapon in the game so far. This is the weapon I feel the most comfortable with and the weapon that I feel like I can go the furthest with. But we've made it to round 30. We're doing something right. Uh, I don't know if I can make it out of this. Oh, yes, I can. I definitely can because I'm the greatest. That was very tough, though. But I think that just goes to show how crazy Frenzy Guard can be. But we are pretty low health and we're getting mobs. So let's go ahead and become a mangler real quick. Fuck all y'all. Ooh, that's insane. It's so much fun, dude. Being able to slap zombies around, bring out the mangler cannon and shoot it. Not only is that like a, just a normal kill streak on its own, it's just part of my body now. Look at that. We already got Mutant Injection Mastery. I feel like at some point they got to add in a mode where you can just be whatever zombie, whatever elite on the other team while there's also survivors that you're going after. I, I feel like it'd be a big missed opportunity if they don't. I'm just so happy round based is back. A proper round based game. But damn, is there so many elites here on, what is this, round 32? There's like 15 Manglers already down. It's like trying to grab the key card before doing the NCD Echo boss fight in Modern Warfare Zombies. There's just so many. One, two, three, four, five, I think maybe six, and they're all sniping me. Why are you guys doing this? Leave me alone. I'm just a boy, but I cannot go down again. I need to go get a self revive now. And by now, I mean now. Okay, all right, gotta be a mangler real quick. Gotta take care of some business. Hold on, eat a cannon. Look at that, bam, bam, bam. Actually, can I just sprint right at them? Yeah, we can kind of get them like a charger from Left 4 Dead. Yes, sir. I'm just going to go ahead and grab a self-revive and another mutant injector and maybe a decoy. And we're good. Except for our perks. We should probably go get those back. Those are kind of important. No. What happened? Hello? Lost connection to host? That better have saved my game because there is save and quit in this. I was about to get that done. Let me tell you. I'm going to be pissed if not only did I lose my progress in that game but if i lost all my research progress i'm gonna be pissed look at this look how close i am 1968 out of 2000 you're so close better let me load back in gamer there's gonna be a, a big problem because no way the camo curse is hitting us this early this is day one day minus one even oh but we do have frenzied flare i guess let's see Save file. Your last match ended unexpectedly. A temporary save file has been created. Do you want to continue the last match or discard and start a new one? Continue, please. Thank you. It's looking like it's letting us in. Oh, yep. But it brought us back to the point where we still need to go get our perks. Okay, so we're good then. But now we know we're extremely close to getting our camo done because apparently there's no camo tracking in this game, which I am not a big fan of. I think there should be camo tracking. Uh, like, well, how are you going to give this like one feature and then take it away? Not cool. Wait a minute. Where's Wonder Fizz? Drake? Where's the door? Not cool. Not cool game. You're gonna take away my Wonder Fizz? Do I have to go another 25 rounds for it to respawn? At least, I mean, maybe they didn't know that was a bug before. They should know now. Okay, all right, all right. Relax, let me out of here, please. I do not have PhD, so I can't even nade my way out of here. Awesome, but the, a nuke spawned on us. I guess that's... That helps. Thank you. Did not want to go down right there, but don't have much of a choice, do I? 
Let's uh, go get another self revive. We are too close to getting this camo to stop now. Uh, okay, maybe not. Whatever. The game screwed me. If I could have got my perks back, maybe we'd be all right. But they completely removed my Wonder Fizz. We had 690 crits that game, though. That's not bad for a sniper. All right, Liberty Balls. You have the honor of us getting our first gold on this map, assuming that we live long enough or don't crash. Because apparently crashes are a thing again. And now we have to go all the way and get Pack Punch again. This is some bullshit. But at least we should have all of our basic camos done prior to us even getting to pack a punch. And then all we'll have to do is get, I think, it's like 15 kills rapidly or like 10 kills rapidly, 15 times, something like that. That shouldn't be too hard. And there was something cool I saw while I was streaming. Then if you come up here, this door is going to bust down, Tatiana, and a bunch of zombies going to come out. So this could be a good way to get a nice little chunk of kills in an early round. As long as uh, you can handle it. Oh, and there's our purple tiger camo. We are fully done with all of our base camos. So let's try to get over to pack a punch as fast as we can. But I mentioned another spot over here on Liberty Falls earlier that I thought could be a nice little spot to get some camos done. And it's right here in the bowling alley. Standing here on the lanes, the only spawns are right here. Uh, they can come from over here at the door. This spawn, and I think there's a spawn somewhere this way. Something like that. But I think you can just leave the door closed on this side. And it's actually going to funnel all right to you. You actually might be able to stay by the door over here. All right, let's go ahead and open up the Dark Aether Prolapse. Let me in there. And we actually get to see a little bit of Dark Aether here. I mean, this is shut off at Codnex. This ain't nothing new. But I really do like how this area looks. And I hope that there's more of it. And a little bit less of the baked beans camo. But all the other pack punch camos on this map look great. But I guess since we're on this map and it was uh, very controversial, I just want to say, I don't think the map is nearly as bad as everyone made it out to be. Like a lot of people uh, jumped the gun on it and uh, decided to label this as the worst map ever before even playing it one time. I think everybody overreacted like crazy. It ain't a bad map. But now that we got pack a punch and everything, we can go ahead and give this spot a try. Just got to get through this stupid sperm around first so far looking pretty decent i mean it is a sniper so we can't really stay in that spot over there but once we try out a semi-automatic weapon here or even an automatic weapon i'm sure it's gonna go great also check this out silky definitely didn't show me this i found this on my own shoot these bad boys they all go in and you get some a uh, little bit of points like the smallest amount of points but still fun i think i already need to go and get pack a punch two on this like i'm killing with headshots but body shots are armor kind of tanking these now goodbye baked beans hello my channel colors a little bit kind of close enough but this rooftop up here on top of the bank pretty decent spot for training can get a little crazy at times but in the good times when they're all kind of grouped up like this you get a lot of kills pretty quickly i'm actually starting to doubt that i know what the gold challenge is because it doesn't work like cold war where you just get like all the base camos done and then you're done with the weapon you gotta do all the base camos and then do the kills rapidly if that's even the challenge i could be completely wrong you know what we can do actually i got a plan we can save and quit and go look oh so it is just 10 kills rapidly 15 times i need to do it why does it say one out of two times what? Hello? The camos better not be busted. Oh, and we did get a, a special camo done. It don't look all that special. I right, won't. Well, back to it. Oh, we unlocked the goblin. Don't even say it. Don't say it. Don't think 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 it. We're going to get the two special camos done first. Is that what it is? It's got to be that. And I am pretty sure that challenge was to take out those little bug things. These guys. What? What are you doing? You're just happy to see us, man. Oh, and it's a bug round. Very convenient. So that's the, what the one out of the two was. See, we're figuring this out together. The camo challenges look so much easier on paper, but they're taking quite a bit to get done. But it's the vermins we got to kill. I hope these are counting because on these late round vermin rounds, there is a good amount of them that spawn. I see no reason why we can't get the camo done on just one round 27 vermin round. If it doesn't get done, then it's bugged and it's not my fault. It's the game's fault. Blame the game. There's the vermin round. I didn't see a camo pop up. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to go take another look. Get 30 parasite eliminations with the frost line. Says I have none. Pretty sure I got quite a few. Are those not parasites? Oh, those are vermin. 
Do they even spawn on Liberty Bowls? I feel like I would have seen some by now. We're on round 28. They got to spawn sooner than that, right? I actually might have chose the worst time to switch maps. Get me off of Liberty Balls now. I mean it. I'm done. No free toes. Get the hell out. All right, this has to be the last game for this. Someone go grab a mop and a bucket. We got a gusher. She really just made a wet ass pussy reference. That's all we need. We got a bug round. At least I hope they're the flying bugs and not the crawling bugs. Otherwise, um, be a little annoyed. Oh, they are the flying ones. Let's go. Parasites are what we need. We just need 15 of them, hopefully. I was under the impression that those special camos were optional and, you know, just something special to get done. They are not. They're not optional at all. But since it's going to be a little bit till our next parasite round, I think I know where we can find some more. Like, yeah, we're getting a few here and there each round, but I want to get this done now. Let's call on a boat. Let's hop on the boat. And there should be an island somewhere over here that's got spores on it, kind of similar to the Modern Warfare Zombies nest. Or maybe not. Maybe they don't spawn this early in. I'm getting dicked around. I don't like it. Oh, wait. No, here's one. It's got to be, right? Yep. That's what we're looking for. Switch some seats. Shoot that. Spawn one in. Bye-bye. I don't know what all these spores over here are for. I'm assuming it's got to be something with the Easter egg that's just not activated right now. But I took out all of them on an island before. And nothing happened. Just these spawned for each spore that I took out. And that was about it. And I'm pretty sure these islands that have these spores don't... What the fuck? The octopus guy is here. I don't like that, actually. I'm gonna go. We're gonna, we're gonna go. I have not been on the water that long. You don't need to be hitting me with this. Please. Please. I cannot believe the lengths the camo curse is going just to mess with me here. Leave me alone. Scram. Why is it still chasing me? Go away. Please. I'm not in the water anymore. That's what I thought. Now, will that come back right away or can I just go right back in the boat and try that again? I do not. It's right here. Okay, it's pissed at me. There's a cooldown until I can get back in the water. There's no way there's gonna be less than 15 bugs after this. They all gotta be dead. Goodbye, parasites. Hello, camo. Let's go! Now we can go for our rapid kills. All right, we gotta be getting gold sometime soon here. We're absolutely decimating these zombies. It's just 10 kills rapidly 15 times. We've just been getting 10 kills rapidly for basically every single round. Oh, and there it is. There's Mystic Gold. So you just got to sit here and bitch about it. But that is our very first Mystic Gold. And I'm honestly kind of glad we didn't get it on Liberty Falls. Nothing against the map, but it not having the one enemy type I needed to get that camo kind of pissed me off. Now, the real question is, can we actually exfil? Will we be able to make it out of here alive? I don't even have enough to get a mutant injector, but you know what? That's fine. I mean, I'm fine, but we're, we're going to make it fine. We're just going to act like it is. Because I've only been able to exfil one time on this map, and it was kind of crazy. But for our first gold, I feel like we got to make it out. We can't just die here. We got to get moving. Let's go ahead and activate the exfil. Conveniently, we got stamina up right here. I'll be grabbing that. And we need to book it because the exfil is not even on this island. We need to go all the way to find a boat. Actually, it's probably faster to take the Pack-A-Punch elevator down, if it's even there. And we need to go all the way over there. Wait, can I just jump right down this? Oh, shit. Let me just swim over to here so we can spawn a boat that doesn't exist. Why can't I spawn a boat here, game? Why are you messing with me like this? That's not cool. Now's not the time. We gotta go out this way then, I guess. Holy zombie, dude. Can I buy a boat here? Thank God. Come on. Let's go. Skedaddle. Jeez. I'm gonna go all the way over to this island and maybe, just maybe, survive. Here's what we're gonna do. Activate our field upgrade and hope for the best. We gotta clear out 28 more zombies. Actually, that's not that bad. I just know there's gonna be an amalgamation somewhere. Where are you hiding? So I can just start taking you out. Cashmere time. I don't think he even showed up. Okay, that's not that bad then. And we should be good. Nope, there's one more zombie. Bye-bye. Let's get out of here. Oh, that took way longer than it needed to. But it needed to be done. At least we figured it out. And uh, I guess lesson of the day, if uh, you read a book every once in a while, 
then you won't mess up reading your camo challenges and you'll get them done a lot faster. There's our first mystic gold. Let's go see it, what it looks like in game. Is there even private matches in this? We're going to find out. All right, we're going to have to take a super fast look at this camo because apparently here in uh, the custom games or the private matches, uh, the game will automatically start forfeiting because there is no bots on the other team like it would in like normal multiplayer. But it looks pretty nice. It's a pretty good looking camo and I'm glad it's our first gold to be done because it is probably one of the more difficult camos to get at least uh, the way I got it done, but it does look pretty good. I like it a lot. Well, there you have it. We have officially started our grind to Nebula and we started off hot by messing up basically every single challenge that we had. But we got it done and that's all that matters. And make sure you leave a comment down below of your suggestion of what weapon you want to see us do next. The top comment will be the weapon that we complete in the next video. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.